Hello, my name is Itai, and in this quick video, we'll go over how to create and operate a small bit workspace. I'll demonstrate on the React template. However, the same goes for View, Angular, Lit, Stencil, Node, and any other environment in Bit. I'll quickly copy, get started command from Bit, paste it here, and this is the Bit new command. Bit is a flexible tool that you can either initialize in an existing repository or generate a brand new repository. In this case, I'll actually create a new project in a new repository. In a later video, we'll go over what is needed in order to generate the same exact workspace, but in a pre-existing repository. So if you have existing application that you want to start managing components for, or you have a monorepo that you want to embed bit into, or any other complex situation, we can go ahead and do that. Now, as I get started with the Bitcoin templates, I'll set up my default scope where I'm going to host my components. In this case, I'll set it under my name and call it demo workspace. As you see here, I can also name my workspace. Let's call it my first workspace and generate. You see here that I generate a React workspace from the TeamBit React environment. The important thing to understand on environments is they allow developers to align and set set of standards for building and managing components. And you can also generate various starter packs and templates for generating new applications. Now, as you see, we already started to build a workspace uh, using PNPM to install dependencies. All of our workspace templates, the default one at least, come with latest version of Jest, TypeScript, Webpack, React, and all of the tools that you know and use daily. All right, wonderful. We have here our workspace and let's quickly CD into my first workspace. And I'm just going to open VS Code. And this is a very basic bit workspace. Obviously there's a few files for related tools, but in this very quick video, we'll just go over on the basics of a workspace. So in order for bit to run in a repository, it only needs two directories. First directory is the workspace JSONC. This configures and modifies and controls your bit workflow. So you can set your default directory for components, your default scope for targeting export of components, some dependencies, in this case, some plugins for bit, a generator for generating components in this workspace, which means you can have multiple generators for, for building with multiple types of components and frameworks. The second file is called bitmap. The bitmap file maps specific subdirectories in your workspace to be bit components. This unique structure allows bit to support a very flexible directory tree structure because we map specific subdirectories. So you can have very nested areas in your tree or very shallow one. Again, we'll go over different structures, their benefits in a later video. In this video, I'm gonna, not going to touch components. I just want to touch a few basic commands. So first of all, bit again is a CLI tool. You use various CLI commands to operate and control your bit workspace. First major command is bit install. We use bit install to add dependencies to our workspace, manage dependencies in our workspace, and so on. So we can just do bit install lodash, for example, and bit adds the lodash dependency to our workspace so we can use it in our components. As stated earlier, Bit uses existing package managers. In this case, my workspace, my workspace JSONC is using PNPM. I can choose to use, once again, I can choose to use Yarn and any other package manager plugin that is available. Another important command uh, that we'll touch here, as we touch on our workflow item on the different um, templates we have, different generator we have, we can run the bit templates command to see which generators for generating components we have available for us. In this case, we are just using pure React, so we'll just see various sets of React components. To get started here and just start generating your components, and with that, we'll end our video. We can use the bit create command to use the React template to create my first component. And bit here we let's just briefly showcase what happens bit creates a new component it creates 
it in its own directory with some configuration, a package name for this component, and we can start building our component. 